Hello, toy fans and collectors everywhere. Welcome back. For today's episode, we're on another toy hunt. And as usual, I'm at the Walmart that's about 40 minutes from my location, lovely western New York. So, let's go inside and see what we can find. Okay, we got a little end cap action going on right here. Uh, looks like they changed it around a little bit because they got these uh, Q-Figs at the bottom now. And I think they were in another section before. Uh, as we go up, we got some collector's boxes, some deluxe size pops, some Mego, a couple plushies, statuary. And then we got those really cool Star Wars looking masks for Halloween. And uh, Halloween's right around the corner, which um, really sucks for me. But uh, I'm not going to get into that because, uh, well, it's kind of a sob story. And, you know, I'm sure you all have probably heard enough of it by now. But uh, if you're, uh, I don't know, if you're curious, then leave a uh, comment down below. Oh, look at that. That's a new pop. Check out that Michelangelo. That's pretty cool. It's a Walmart exclusive. He's got a little donut box that he's holding open there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, looks like they got some other stuff here. That's kind of a new one, that 22 grinning. I've never seen that before. Joe Gardner. That's kind of neat. Those are some new ones. All right. Got some Blade Runner Rick Deckard. That's my guy. Masters in the Universe. Clamp Champ. Gotta love it. And we got the usual uh, Seinfeld, Office, Wrestling, Suicide Squad, and basically, you know, most of the stuff that we've seen before. It looks like there's a whole bunch of Office ones right here. Then as we go over, looks like we've got some Shang-Chi pops up there. This is pretty cool. Uh, I like it. Um, it's only 20 bucks. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll get that, but... Not right now. Uh, the rest of this section looks kind of empty. As you can see, the plushies are almost all taken. As we go down here, we got some more deluxe size pops. Masters of the Universe, Evil Knievel. They got Mickey and the Jungle Cruise there. And then as we go up, here's some more of those gold Funko pops. Uh, we got Tupac and I saw Biggie before. And we got Lil Wayne right there as well. And then we got Ice Cube. Nice. I like that Ice Cube one. That that would definitely be my style. If there was any of them that I was going to get, it would probably be that one. And we've got some more NECA-related figures here. Oh, look. How appropriate. I mentioned uh, Sob Story, and uh, now here's something to remind me of that. Great. Yeah, that's all right. Yes, life goes on, even though my heart will not. But that's the way things go. All right, Ghostbusters action. It's a mini Puffs bobblescape. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but it's pretty cool. And they got, looks like they got some uh, Bob Ross behind there. All right, let's go on over to the toys and see what they got. All right, looks like they got the car section here, and looks like they kind of cleaned it up a little bit. These are some new Hot Wheels that I've seen right here, like some of these more neon-looking ones and stuff like that. They're, those are pretty new. Um, looks like the whole big box of them, though, is looking kind of empty. Usually when you go by those big boxes, people just take them out and they throw them, like, everywhere. Um, looks like these are kind of new, too. I don't know what those are, but those are cool. Says two, two out of five, one out of five, so it must be like a little mini collection that they got going on here. And we got some Adventure Force. Uh, we got those Matchbox uh, Sky Busters, which is pretty cool. And we got these, damn, oops. We got some bikes here. Just want to take a look at these cool bikes, because they got a lot of them. And as I'm looking through them, I'm dropping them all. So it looks like uh, that's pretty much all we've got there for the bikes. Let me just put these back so I'm not making a mess. I always put stuff back, and as I put stuff back, I'm dropping more stuff, so I'm just going to put that on the next one there and move on with my life. All right, we got, looks like some uh, monster truck action down there. 
cars, like the movie cars for the little kids and all that. And we got these cool, cool Jada ones. Uh, I'm still looking for the Jada remote control vehicle. The one that looks like it's from G.I. Joe, but can't really find it. Wow, look at that. It's pretty cool. They got the Harley Quinn mobile. And they got a Power Ranger mobile. And I saw the green one the last time I was here. So now they got the green one, the white one, and the red one. I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't grab that green one. Because if I did, then as soon as I see the white one and the red one, I would be grabbing them. And I am not really a Power Rangers kind of guy. So I'm kind of glad. Look at that. That's kind of neat. Old school Mercury Cougar. You know what? My first car ever was a Mercury Cougar. I like this style that they do. Auto World. Looks like they're like kind of like old school or traditional vehicles, which is pretty cool. And we got these really beautiful HD custom Harley Davidson motorcycles. Looks like they're pretty much all the same, but I like that purple one. That's that's pretty cool. All right, tech deck, not into that. Um, and I do not see the uh, remote control vehicle anywhere around here. As you can see, the rest of these areas are kind of empty. But uh, I guess that's part of the problem that's going on out there. You know, supply chains and everything. So now... I'm gonna go around the corner to the toys here, so just bear with me. Sorry for the uh, banging loud uh, background music. That's just the way that it goes, I guess. I'll try to drown it out later. Wow, look at this. Okay, I do not have this. I'm definitely grabbing that. That's cool. We got another one here. I don't have that. I'm grabbing that too. That's cool. I like those halo figs, man. They are sweet. Looks like they got some more up here. Let's see if there's any that I... Oh, yeah. There's the other one. Cavalino. Nice. He'll be coming home with me. Very good. Very good. What else we got here? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, we got another one. We got another... Nice. Jackal Raider. That one's coming home with me. And then got this big brute of a guy Hyperius that's cool man very cool all right so I'll be taking all of these with me today but I'm just gonna kind of leave them right there for a minute hopefully nobody will come around and take them um, man this music is so loud I wish they would just shut it off uh, we got some Masters of the Universe here, but only those new ones that look, you know, really childlike and stuff. As you can see, the regular style ones are not here, and I bet you that they're over in the clearance section because every single time that I come into a store, it's just He-Man, Battle Cat, and Skeletor just kind of hanging out. They got the Masterverse Revelation there, but again, uh, not my style. Those guys are just a little too big for me. Uh, let's go over to the other side here. We've just got Pokemon cards everywhere and Pokemon tins everywhere. They used to be hard to find. Now they're everywhere, uh, which is good because I know a lot of people really like that stuff. So we got the little tins here, all different kinds. Got some other Pokemon related stuff here. Um, not my style, but I'll probably take a couple snaps of it and send it to my buddy who likes that kind of stuff. And maybe I'll pick some up for him if he wants to. All right, we got some turtle action here. We got Donatello. We got Michelangelo. We got Leonardo, but no Raphael. And here's the one for the Raphael. It's completely empty, as you can see. Uh, that's too bad, because I really would have liked to get all four at the same time. So, as we continue on here, there's uh, people about to crash into me. And, okay, here we go. We got some Star Wars. Let's see if they got anything new in there. No, no, just Lando. He's hanging out by himself, peg warming. Poor Lando. It's all good, though. I mean, I, I grabbed a Lando not too long ago. Uh, before we go into, ah, they dropped the price on the G.I. Joes. Uh, at least I think they did. Yeah, because it's a rollback. 
It's like that rollback that they got right there. On the other side here, right after the He-Man, we got the uh, wrestling section. And um, I'm not into wrestling, but I will show what they have. I'm not going to go through every single package and show every single guy because it's just not really my style. But in case anybody ever wanted to see it, just let me know. Oh, that's cool. we got some mystery wands from Harry Potter. That's new, so you don't even know what wand you're going to get. It's pretty sweet. Um, that kind of thing seems to be kind of popular now. And over here, we got some Avatar. I got that guy a couple weeks ago, that Appa. Uh, I like the beasts. I just don't like the figures. Uh, we got some DC Multiverse here. Cyborg and a couple other people. And then down below here, we got some G.I. Joe Classified. Just kind of hanging out. Baroness. Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow from a new movie. And then we got the new Marvel Legends, but it looks like most of the Marvel Legends are sold out. They're empty. Um, so we got some bigger style action figures down below. Uh, here's some more of the regular um, G.I. Joe. And... Uh, Pretty much the same thing that we've seen in the past. Nothing new there. Looks like they dropped the price a little. Uh, they got the vehicle right here. Um, I already grabbed that. And then as we go over here to the Transformers section, we got Turbo Man down there. I know that's supposed to be popular. Some Adventure Force bigger characters. That robot is pretty cool, man. I, I, I don't know why, but I'm just a sucker for giant robots, which is why I really like Transformers, why I'm in the Transformers section. And they got these Beast Wars originals there. Not really my style. Um, got Studio 86 Cup, which I already have, but he looks a little bit different than the other ones. I don't know why, but he just looks different. Hmm. Should I get that? I don't know if I'm going to grab that or not. Um, I'll have to kind of think about that for a second, but those Halo dudes at the end of the aisle are definitely coming with me. We got some uh, Indominus Rex here. We got some other Jurassic World related stuff. Looks like all those new ones that came out are pretty much taken. So that is pretty much it for our toy hunt for today. Uh, thanks for sticking with me. If you like what you saw, please uh, subscribe, give me a like, and uh, leave a comment down below. Until then, take care everybody, and happy Halloween.